Ken Mercer, Director of Tourism and Business Development for the City of Ocean Shores. Welcome to Ocean Shores. Welcome to the Pacific Ocean behind me. It's a great place to live. I've lived here 15 years and there's an awful lot to do here besides play on the beach and let the sand go between your toes. We've got a beautiful convention center, a great place to have meetings, a great place just to get together for family reunions. Nine, over 900 hotel rooms in town, a lot of activities that can be uh, accomplished in Ocean Shores, just a, one tank of gas away from Puget Sound. Besides the ocean, we have a lot of other activities here in Ocean Shores. There's golf, there's 23 miles of fresh waterway where you can kayak, fish, or just play in a boat, and some lovely parks close to that water. So there's lots of things to do here. One of the favorites is the Interpretive Center at the southern end of Ocean Shores. Over 22,000 people a year go through the Interpretive Center to learn more about nature that we have here. And we have a lot of nature here. A lot of animals, a lot of deer, beaver. The history and the animal life is well interpreted at the Interpretive Center, so that's one you don't want to miss. Uh, kite flying is hot, and we have a new thing going on in our bay and that is kite surfing. Kite surfing has really taken off just recently. Uh, also new, much more uh, bike riding than we used to have because recently uh, two-thirds of our streets have been repaved. We're now working on the last third, so a lot of people like to ride their bikes here. It's flat, it's safe, and uh, except for the occasional deer crossing the road, you know, you can enjoy yourself riding the bike and just slow down and watch the animals. Ocean Shores is a busy, busy place in the summer. It really peaks. We have almost 4,000 visitors, 4 million visitors a year here, and there's thousands of people here in the summer, June through September, because of the, they want to get away with the family, and it's a great family getaway. A lot of things to do. There's just a short mile and a half north of Ocean Shores is a casino, an all beach resort and casino. So there's all kinds of things that run the gamut for entertainment, or you can just relax. You know, get the newspaper, get some coffee, sit on your hotel room balcony and stare at the ocean and just relax and enjoy uh, the, the quiet and peacefulness here, the clean, fresh air, the lack of crime, no alarms going off. It's not the city, it's ocean shores. So thanks for visiting me, Ken Mercer, Director of Tourism. Please come down and see us. Give us a call. Uh, 289-9586 for the Visitor Information Center and we'll help you get started in the right direction in Ocean Shores. See you soon.
looking lucky today. Yeah. Can you make it do something so it doesn't look like a statue? That is real, isn't it? It's a statue! <laughs> Hello, my name is Dean Bunkers, and I'm the mayor of Ocean Shores, Washington. And I'm here today to talk to you about uh, the fresh waterways here in Ocean Shores. But before I really get into the fresh waterways here in Ocean Shores, let me talk to you about what happened and how these waterways and stuff got developed uh, years ago. Uh, the city was incorporated in 1970, and uh, but actually the development here in Ocean Shores started in the early 60s. Uh, the property was bought from a private uh, family that owned uh, the, the six acres here that's Ocean Shores. And, and in the development process, they started dredging the lake and building 23 miles of freshwater canals that connect with another freshwater lake on the southwestern corner of Ocean Shores. So if you can imagine, we've got two freshwaterways, lake, freshwater lakes, and 23 miles of fresh uh, canal, freshwaterway canals uh, for our enjoyment out here to use in Ocean Shores and uh, and as, a, as the city continued to develop these waterways are also part of the storm water drainage system in the city so this was all thought about by the forefathers that built this and over the years after they were built at the end of the Grand Canal there was a weir what they call a weir put in there that actually raised the water level in these uh, fresh waterways and they were dredged out uh, 
like you said, in, so in 1970, uh, we basically had the, the primary lake structure, and then in the in 1980s, the airport that was built over here, uh, they needed fill material. Well, they got most of the, all the fill material came out of this section of the lake that's out here in front of me here, on my backside, and there's water depths out here that go down to 35 feet. And uh, these fresh waterways have many different types of fish in it. Uh, the Fish and Wildlife Department stock, stock trout. Uh, we've had our two uh, second annual uh, fishing derby here this year for the, for the kids here in the North Beach area that came out to our fishing derby. We even had some five to eight pound trout stocked and another five or six thousand smaller trout put in the lake. But besides the trout, uh, we also have largemouth bass, yellow perch, crappies, and two or three other smaller varieties of fish in the lake. So uh, the fishing is really, really good. In fact, the fishing is so good here in Duck Lake that there's usually two largemouth bass tournaments uh, here each month starting in April through October by various largemouth bass clubs here in, in, in the state. In fact, in another week or two, we're going to have another bass tournament here uh, on the lake. And it's not uncommon to see them bring out 50, 60 uh, largemouth bass. But besides uh, the fishing, these fresh waterways are ideal for boating, canoeing, kayaking, and just any other pleasure. And again, once you get on the fresh waterways and can see the lake, it, it's really phenomenal. It's just a beautiful scenario. And the fresh waterways are very clean. We've spent a lot of money uh, to eliminate a, 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 an evasive weed known as a Brazilian elodea. Uh, and the Department of Ecology helped us do that. So as I look in the water here now, I can see down in the clean water two or three feet in it. There's no moss in it. There's no algae in it right now. Uh, and it's very clean. The environment here is very healthy in ocean shores. We have salamanders, frogs, toads, and all this stuff. If you're here in the evening, you can hear all the noise and, uh, from these, these creatures making this noise. And that lets us know that the environment is very, very, very healthy. But uh, again, this is a, a great enjoyment area. We have two parks. Uh, the one I'm in here is known as North North Bay Park, and we have another park with a public boat, boat access uh, on the other section of another lake that has islands and everything on the lake. I've even observed deer swimming across the lake. And on the other section of the lake that's got islands, people say every day deer swim back and forth to those islands uh, and, and where they sleep during the days, but they swim back off in the evenings to come out here in the environment. So. Uh, Overall, this is just a really a phenomenal area here, and we've got wrapped surrounded by salt water, but we still have all these fresh waterways, two lakes, for your enjoyment to, to come and visit us here. And uh, a lot of people here, we refer to this as the best kept secret because a lot of people don't realize they come here for the beach, but they don't realize that we have these two lakes and the fresh waterways for their enjoyment also. So it's really one of the best kept secrets here in Ocean Shores. Thank you. Well, we just finished up filming on the other dock and just 100 yards away from it, the city has another dock and these fine gentlemen were here fishing today and I and they've graciously gonna let me show you one of the great fish that they just pulled out of the lake not more than three or four minutes ago. Take a look at that beautiful trout out of, out of ocean shores, out of Duck Lake. Now, don't you really wanna come here and enjoy one of our best kept secrets?